Hello world, Wi-Fi is set to have its most groundbreaking upgrade in a generation. And I don't mean in terms of speed, latency or reliability, this new feature will add a whole new function to Wi-Fi itself. It's called 802.11bf or Sense. This new technology will allow for Wi-Fi to track physical movements in your home, detect hand gestures and even diagnose medical issues. This will all be done via your Wi-Fi enabled devices, router, laptops, mobile phones, etc. Sounds a little crazy, but I'm not exaggerating this in any way. It's already in the works, a timeline is in place and it'll be released by 2024. But how does this work? And surely an invisible movement detection system in your home is bound to be a privacy nightmare. That's coming up in this video where we break down and dissect cybersecurity related tech news. Since Wi-Fi's inception in 1998, it has only ever been used for communication purposes. Devices connect to a network and exchange data. We've seen vast improvements in Wi-Fi speed in the last few years, but the whole purpose of Wi-Fi hasn't evolved that much until now. With an estimated 20 billion Wi-Fi enabled devices in existence today, its ubiquity makes it the perfect choice for it to be the platform which exploits other wireless applications other than just communication. This new technology works by utilizing the pre-existing web of interconnected Wi-Fi devices in your home. By measuring the changes in Wi-Fi interference between devices, the system can detect the presence of objects and people. It can measure their proximity, velocity, direction, and motion. In other words, this new technology can build a virtual model of whatever's going on in your home. Firstly, this is useful for basic smart home applications, such as monitoring which rooms are in use, switching off any lights and appliances in rooms void of people as to save energy. It's also useful for the elderly if they live at home, keeping tabs on their movement and wear Whereabouts, making sure help is sent if they've fallen and can't get up. This is all well and good, but it gets even more interesting and slightly trippy. You see, 802.11bf will come in two flavors. The first uses frequencies between 1 and 7.5 gigahertz, roughly equivalent to what Wi-Fi devices already use today. These frequency bands are good for use cases where you don't need super high resolution and accuracy, but where decent range is important, like the examples I've just discussed. The other version of this technology works on 45 gigahertz plus. The use cases this will enable are far more interesting interesting. These high frequencies allow for much higher resolution and accuracy, though compromising heavily on range. One potential use case explained in a research paper explains how these super high frequencies can be used to monitor your breathing and diagnose health issues, presumably by measuring the small physical motion in breathing. Some point soon, health issues may be diagnosed remotely, with a doctor utilizing health information derived from your laptop, wirelessly. In addition, gaming could see a huge benefit. Hand gestures will be discernible via these high frequencies, allowing for another way to interface with games. In fact, that was already done in 2016, when Chinese researchers were able to differentiate between different sign language gestures via Wi-Fi with 90% accuracy. It wasn't very practical, as you had to sit super still as to not cause unwanted interference, but it was a proof of concept, and that's how everything starts. All this is still in very early days. The underlying technology itself is still very much in the research and development stage. If you Google to learn more about it, you'll find a spattering of articles from niche technology websites and a lot of research papers, which I've already scoured. Though this hasn't hit the mainstream yet and won't for a few more years. Though I'm quite excited about the new possibilities this technology will enable. The examples I've discussed here are simply just a flavor of what's to come. Undoubtedly, there will be use cases we can't even imagine right now. However, what are the downsides? Sure Surely having a system capable of tracking your every move is somewhat Orwellian. Well, Linksys already have a version of this technology out which you can buy. It's called Linksys Aware and was debuted at CES earlier this year. It's simply a home security product. By utilizing a Linksys mesh network, it'll ping your home if unexpected motion is detected. Funnily enough, this system won a worst in privacy award at CES, as an invisible tracking system was deemed too creepy and a potential privacy nightmare. In a paper published by recent researchers, they concede that the tech could be used to infer privacy critical information such as keyboard typing and activity tracking. An eavesdropper could gain unauthorized access to this data and given Wi-Fi goes through walls, it could all be done without your knowledge. The researchers explain that they've just been focused on making this technology as good as possible, putting potential privacy issues to one side. After all, these guys are scientists, not privacy activists. But they do admit that these security and privacy concerns will have to be tackled in order for users to feel safe and accept the technology. So would you feel safe using this in your home? Or is the prospect of your physical motion being snooped on just a step too far? Make sure to let me know in those comments. Whilst it may be an R&D, this tech is on the way. As I mentioned in the intro, it's set to be delivered by 2024. 
Sense is being developed by IEEE, they're the organization responsible for developing the Wi-Fi standard. This new tech will be core to Wi-Fi itself. This isn't a third-party add-on. Speaking of things that are really cool, Maltronics is a store run by myself where you can find an array of super cool pen testing hardware. We supply our gear to universities, pen testers, students, and potentially you. You can find out more via the link in the video description. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube AI and turn on those sub notifications so you're notified instantly of any new hacking news. As always, stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.